Assalamu alaikum today we are going to talk about two major philosophical school of thoughts known as empiricism and rationalism there is a constant conflict between the school of thoughts uh, um, and the dispute between rationalism and empiricist school of thought take place within the domain of epistemology that is the branch of philosophy uh, which helps in studying the nature and the sources and the limits of the knowledge if we talk about the empiricist school of thought then we can say that it believes uh, in in that that knowledge is derived only from the experiences rather uh, saying that there is uh, some kind of innate knowledge every human being possesses uh, major contributors of the school of thought are uh, john locke barclay and hume uh, to have very they have very different point of views um, about metaphysics but still uh, they all agreed on the empiricist school of thought that is knowledge is driven only through the basis of your senses uh, locke if we talk about locke then we can say that locke uh, john locke gave the idea of the beula rasa that uh, man is born like a fair sheet and it's your society and it's your experiences in this world that makes you a certain type of a per- Descartes also thinks that the idea of god or perfection and the existence of humanity itself is uh, all about innate um concept of knowledge uh, lebanese also thinks that the logical principles are innate and uh, uh, noam chomsky also believe in the notion that uh, language is your innate ability if we look into the mathematics it seems that the mathematical and logical truths are true not because of the reason that uh, it is belong to our five senses and we have gained experience on the basis of our five senses but it is the ability of reasoning and it is the ability of connecting ideas if we give the example that 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 uh, and it is logically right uh, but if we say that 2 plus 2 is equal to 5 then ultimately people start uh, thinking that we are foolish and we are not into our senses that is how rationalist school of thought is trying to build up their narration that these mathematical and logical ideas are innate rather than uh, this that we uh, we have experienced it and then ultimately we form certain mathematical notions and uh, certain uh, logical sense of the uh, of this world rationalist school of thought also believes in the notion that morality is also innate um because if we say that uh, morality is not innate then the question arises how do we get a sense of what right and wrong are with our five senses uh, since we cannot experience uh, things like justice human rights and moral duties and moral goods and evil and uh, with our uh, five senses what can the empiricist ethical theory be like then uh, hume being an empiricist says that morality is based solely uh on the emotions uh, and lock says that experiences can provide us with the data to show what is morally right and wrong but does it seem uh, that way to you uh, lock says that um, our experiences tell us about the nature of reality but here the question arises that how can we ever check our experiences with what reality really is in order to know uh that either our si- senses our five senses uh bluff us or not rationalists do not think that we can check our experiences uh, that what reality really is so we have to rely on reason uh, for that case um further rationalists also believe that empiricism uh, undermines the creativity according to empiricism um, you can combine things you can separate them and nothing else but with the rationalism uh, we come to experience with the ready made tool for creativity for example plato said that we are in touch with the abstract immutable realities which provide lots of material with which we can uh, create different ideas or create different things it is empiricism that is ultimate source of knowledge then uh, according to empiricism human beings can be controlled and manipulated very easily uh if we are nothing other than what we experience then we are unable to adopt a different way because we cannot challenge whatever we taught 
here rationalists believe that there is an in, uh, invariable core that is your human nature that is trying to stop you from the manipulation of these senses and this is the very unique identity or very unique quality of human beings that they cannot be manipulated by their experiences. On the other side, if we talk about empiricism, then empiricism gave different point of views against rationalism by saying that empiricism is a simpler concept. Uh, according to empiricist, uh, the innate knowledge is unobservable and ineffectious and it does not do anything. We cannot uh, measure uh, the innate ideas and uh, that's why we have to rely on our, our experiences. Ocham Brazel theory um, of biological evolution also stated that Whenever we come across two major theories which are portraying a similar concept, then ultimately we have to choose the simpler one uh, because uh, the simpler one is the better one. So we can easily say that empiricism is a better uh, theory than the rationalist school of thought. Example given by empiricist school of thought is about colors. How that they raise certain questions that how would you know what the color blue looks like if you are born uh, blind? The only way to know what the color blue look alike is uh, possible only through the your sense experience. If you cannot see the blue color, then ultimately you are not going to tell what the blue color look alike. And then ultimately we um, again believe in the notion that ex experiences are making our knowledge rather than your innate idea. And then uh, they also talk about the imagination and experiences uh, that how there is a question that how can we get the idea of perfect triangularity? Uh, we cannot draw a perfect triangle with our innate idea, rather we practice it. And uh, of course, by drawing it, we used to infer from our experiences either it is crooked one or the perfect one. And uh, our, we also use our imagination to straighten it and then ultimately form a perfect triangle as well. Uh, and further, empiricists also believe in the, in the notion that uh, the advancement of science is not possible without e uh, experiences. Uh, much of the science is founded on the empiricist principle and would not have any advancement without it. If we base our conclusions about the world on empiricism, we can change our theories and improve upon them and see our mistakes as well. Um, Further, rationalists claim that there is innate knowledge that gives us fundamental truths about reality. But even among rationalists, there is a huge contradiction, like Plato who believes in the reincarnation and forms, and Descartes who does not uh, believe in either, uh, but does believe in a soul. Uh, there is disagreement about the nature of reality, uh, the self, etc. Then how can, uh, being a rationalist, you are saying that there is some innate knowledge. If there is an innate knowledge, then there would be no contradictions within the rationalist uh, school of thought and its contributors as well. So this is all about rationalist and empiricist school of thought. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask me, um, you can text me, or you can leave a comment as well. Thank you so much.